All right, we got a call that half of this Nico wasn't working yesterday. So before we do anything, we're just taking a look. Um, whoa. So where's the chain? It's mangled. So the, the owner literally just told me half of it isn't working. I had no clue he would have meant completely not working. I interpreted those words as not cooking, but that's not the case. Mm, holy smoke. All right, let's get this thing apart and see what we can do. All right, so you can see the chain is mangled on the bottom. In there. And what it got hung on, we haven't seen yet. Looks like it just jumped its track. And then once it was along the bar, it just pulled until it gave away. Boy. All right, so we were able to remove the gnarled chain. It looked like what happened was you have these plates right here and one of these got underneath this plate and then it just played tug of war with itself until it broke the chain and it mangled. I mean, this isn't us, it just straight mangled the chain. But looking at what's underneath it, so these openings are this big, but you can see they're completely closed off. So, you know, part of what we were coming here to do anyway was to run a deep cleaning on the thing. So we will get this carbon, like look, right, that's supposed to be big. We'll get all these spindles cleared off and cleaned, check all the probes and the sensors. And I think we'll be able to loosen this chain now that this one's off, loosen it from that side and slide it over and do the same thing cleaning this. But. We'll see. And we're gonna have to get a new chain, obviously, for this. So I'll get with the manufacturer, start chasing part numbers. Yeah, so we can see the the buildup on everything. Look how thick. And it runs 640 degrees. So we've got a steamer, we'll show you. It's uh, like 300 degree pressure washer with steam. It's pretty awesome. But we were just discussing the process of how exactly to change these chains. And we know theoretically how to do it, but we were unsure because we've never actually pulled it off. So this is a pretty great experience to see it broken down. And we got to replace it anyway. All right. All right. So there are, I'll show you on this one. There are two bolts and nuts that go through. Once that's clear, it allows you to pick up the whole unit and slide it back to reveal all this, which is always really hard to get to to clean. Um, this is that unit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get on cleaning this, and then we'll get out the steamer, and we'll work on cleaning this stuff out. All right, so the steamer that I was telling you about. So it's just right, so this carbon buildup stuff. Wipe it with a rag. Boom. So it makes short work of it. You can see what he's got already in there. I mean, we're clean. This thing's never clean. So we'll keep at it. Let's play how far down can we break the Nico? So in order to get to this side, we had to pull the tensioner pulley off the back, pull the drive pulley off the front, and then that allowed us to move this whole unit over so that we can get to these, because this chain isn't broken, so it doesn't come off. Uh, these chains only come off when you cut them off, or if there's a master link to unhook and there is not. So, we proceed. All right, by sliding that track system over, we were able to clean the spindles back to good. So. All right, so the Nico that ripped its chain a few days ago, we've got the replacement chain here. Uh, I never really did show a great after video, but so this allowed us to get it in clean. So now we're gonna run the chain here. This is a tensioner pulley right here that pushes down on that chain to keep slack on it. 
So we loosen that up, we wrap the chain, and then show you how that gets set. All right, so we pulled the, the belt tight. You buy this by the linear foot, so you always get extra and you have to cut it back. So we found the rod that we're going to hook to. This is the one. We marked what we were going to cut. Now we're just holding it tight. I'm going to go ahead and use the grinder on this, and then we'll show you how we make the last connection after it's got. So we turned on the unit and let it advance until the uncrimped chain was link was on the very back where we could get to it. And then we were able to put a pair of pliers in between the links and roll. Uh, so we got it crimped shut, chain's running. She's nice and tight. So it's not gonna be any more shenanigans with that. And I wanted to show here, well, we, we fired it up. Right? I wanted to show this. This plate right here is where this chain went slack. It was able, it's not supposed to because there's a track there, but it was able to get a link around this and then it tug of itself to death. We actually took that track with a pair of uh, channel locks and we bent it down a little bit. So that now, even if there's a little slack in the chain, there's no way it can hook and have a repeat performance because this belt wasn't a year old. So, that should do it. We're going to let it run for a little while. Just make sure we have no shenanigans, but there's your chain replacement.